in image sensors that goes into uh, all various phones like iPhone uh, 8, iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone 10 has this technology, oh, okay. Samsung Galaxy S7, S7 Edge, and then uh, S8 also has the similar technology. What are we looking at here? Sure, um, you're looking at um, this kind of phone that we use every day is packed with a lot of chips, right? A lot of semiconductor chips that goes into it. It does various different functionalities. And every day, it, it is going more and more and it consumes more power. So one of the biggest challenges that how we can put a lot more chips into smaller space and also we can lower the power, still provide the performance and, and all the benefits that all people will care, right? And that is the forefront thing that we, we do every day. So uh, in old days in a phone where you put a lot of semiconductor chips side by side, now what we do actually, we stack. Uh, we put like a chip on one on top of another, on top of another. That way we can actually minimize the space. And also then other challenge is how we can make thin so you, you don't make it too tall, right? And uh, at uh, XPD in our Invensa Semiconductor Division business, we have innovative technology, it's called DBI and Zybon, which actually used to make and miniaturize all these uh, electronics uh, semiconductor devices. And are these the models to demonstrate that? Yes, uh, these are the models. I'll, I'll quickly demonstrate. Um, I'll give an example of a um, housing where you have a lot of houses like single family home. Mm -hmm versus um, you build a skyscraper, right? Mm. On top of one another. Big city mentality. Big city mentality, right? And a smaller space, you build more. So what we do, we actually make, um, put like one chip on top of each other, and we connect between two, so it can communicate with each other. Okay. So it creates connections, right? And uh, the traditional technologies, they use a lot of different ways to do it, which is very, the height is, long like too high and then the communication when you do the communication um, it only can do certain number of interconnect between two to communicate okay but we came up with a much better technology and that is uh, called DBI that uh -huh. is getting used in, in the phone today in the image sensor and others and we believe um, in, in future this technology will replace most of those existing technologies Got so it. what happens like you have more interconnect channels right in a given smaller area so you can actually lower the frequency it lowers the power of the mobile device and still it, it does those combination what we need to increase the performance and then you, you can easily see the height right when mm -hmm. you bond these two versus these two yeah relatively is, is like much thinner than this so that enables a very thin device also and that's what our customers actually using our customer would be like Sony um, our customer Omnivision, they actually license our technology in image sensors that goes into uh, all various phones like iPhone uh, 8, iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone 10 has this technology, oh, okay. Samsung Galaxy S7, S7 Edge, and then uh, S8 also has the similar technology. What is the next generation of this? What would that look like? So ne next generation actually is, is very interesting. Um, so we, we, this technology is, is very scalable, mm -hmm. so we can do more dense, and we can enable certain things that has never been possible before. And you can process the data and make judgment. For example, you are, you are driving a car. So if car sees some, someone, then it, it needs to be taken action to press brake, right? Yeah. So in, in, in camera is used to, to detect. Now if you need too much time to read that imaging data yeah it's too late it's too late because the car is driving like 70 mile per hour each different millisecond translated in such distance right mm -hmm. so the faster we can read the more lives we can save and and this is the technology that can do true real-time imaging and that can contribute to actually saving people life and and that, that's how our, our technology is valuable what can we expect from the end user devices faster phones, better imaging, better connectivity, anything else I'm, I'm, I'm not even thinking of right now? Um, sure, I mean, image sensor is one area where we prioritize this technology fast, but there's a lot of other other areas like the motion sensor, and these are the MEMS-based device, and then we are looking into one other area called memory, 
Uh -huh. um, uh, these are like DRAM or NAND, like where you store the data, uh -huh. or uh, and then your processor which ex processes the data. So, so a lot of performance actually di driven by um, the data that the communicate between a processor and memory, right? And we believe um, the next generation future is the DBI doing the memory staking and m connecting memory to the processor directly. Okay. And that is the world like. The inter artificial intelligence and neural network is coming, and you need a lot more data because uh, the machine will learn. The more data it will learn, the more powerful it will be to do stuff for us, right? Mm. And and the more data they have means like they need to communicate between memory and processor. Mm. And to enable that faster uh, communication, DBI is the best technology out there, and there is none can do anything close to it to enable that future. So we are super excited of having this artificial intelligence based new technologies coming in and that will be enabled by those interconnect will be enabled by our our technology in the chips that will provide fundamental benefit do you know what else these look like a bull ice cream sandwiches this is exactly <laughs> this is exactly what we, we we made right we want to make something simple something cool still can explain what we can do. And the they look work. delicious. Yes. Now I want an ice cream sandwich. <laughs> Thank there you, you so much Thank for you. showing us this.